Android hides a lot under the hood, and most users never see what you're truly able to do with an Android phone, particularly from the command line using ADB. Now there are these things called SVC commands, and in today's video, I'm going to show you various ways that you can interact and control your Android device from the command line using ADB, specifically by using these SVC commands. I'm also going to be showcasing a script that I wrote. It is called AirScope. So grab your Android device, sit down in front of your Linux terminal, and let's go ahead and get started with the video. Today's video is sponsored by The Slow Hour. Now this is a YouTube channel that is dedicated to slow late night music with a seductive edge. When I'm writing bash scripts, or I'm doing editing, or I'm just diving deep inside of a Linux system, I need something that helps me unwind without losing my focus. The Slow Hour delivers hour-long mixes of slow R&B, chill wave, and lo-fi, perfect for working late, driving through the city, or just letting your mind drift away. Go check out the YouTube page for the Slow Hour music, and if you like what you see, or better yet, you like what you hear, subscribe to the channel. Link is in the description, or you could scan the QR code on the screen. So you may not even have ADB installed. In order to do these things, you need to have ADB installed. So let's first go ahead and make sure to install that. Uh, very simple, just run the command sudo apt install ADB. Also, uh, you may be interested in installing a tool that is called screen copy that is S-C-R-C-P-Y. You can install both those tools together in one command. I already have those installed. Now the main reason that I am using the screen copy tool, it is an incredible tool. It allows you to do so much. You can basically control an Android device from your, your Linux desktop machine uh, using this screen copy utility. Uh, but the main reason that I'm using it in this video is just to show you the phone so you can see uh, what is happening on the phone when we do what we are about to do. Um, in order to, to leverage ADB in any respect, you need to first enable developer options and then you need to enable USB debugging. Now I went into greater detail on this in my last video, so I will uh, briefly go through it again, but make sure you make sure you reference that previous video to really get up to speed in where we are at. So I'm going to go ahead and start up screen copy uh, with dash dash always dash on top and this will just make sure that when screen copy runs and it displays this this mirrored image of the Android device that it does so on top of everything else on the desktop. So if I click on if I click on the terminal, you see that it still stays on top. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that you enable developer options. For this device, it's obviously already enabled because I wouldn't be able to do this without it being enabled. Uh, for most phones, it's pretty much the same process. Just go to About Phone, and you are looking for a Build Number and you're gonna click on build number seven times. It will then ask you to put in the password for your phone, and then you will be a developer and you will have enabled developer options. Once you've done that, uh, for most phones, it's gonna be either at the very bottom of your settings or it's gonna be inside of system and then near the bottom inside of developer options. And there is the developer option. So we are now inside of developer options. And we're looking for USB debugging. I already have it toggled on. Here it is right here. Important to note, um, this is not something you really want to just have on all the time. It can actually be pretty dangerous. I have a SIM card installed in this phone. This is a real phone that I actually use. So one of the things that I'm doing before doing any of this is... I am turning off uh, mobile data. Uh, so you don't want to just blindly leave USB debugging enabled. After you are done doing whatever you're doing with it, 
it's best to toggle it back off and then click on revoke USB debugging authorizations that will revoke any previously accepted uh, key exchanges. So what exactly is SVC? SVC is basically a built-in Android shell tool that lets you interact with various system level services via ADB using a terminal emulator. It actually stands for Service Control Tool and it acts as a command line interface for Android's Service Manager. You can think of it like a developer friendly way to toggle or control uh, core system services on the Android device. System services such as network, power, data. So I have here on the screen uh, some common examples of various SVC commands. So for example, you can run SVC power shut down and this will actually shut down the phone from the command line over ADB. You can use SVC Wi-Fi enable or disable to uh, turn on or off the Wi-Fi. Uh, but rather than just show you a list, this would be so much easier if we just shell into the device. So we, we now have ADB installed, or hopefully you have ADB installed, right? You can do uh, which on ADB. It will show you where exactly it is at in your file system. We can run ADB with dash dash help to pull up a help menu. And this is a incredibly powerful command line utility that you could do so many so many videos on there's just so much that you can do with ADB it's an absolutely incredible tool uh, we are just scratching the surface but one of the things that you can do with ADB is you can just shell directly into the device so I can just run ADB shell and it will put me inside of the phone if we run SVC with uh, help we don't need to do dash dash help we'll run SVC with help it will pull up the available commands and this is one of the things that is really interesting about this so I have done this on a couple different phones and you pretty much get the same thing that you see here on the screen on a different phone uh, there was an entry in here for uh, Bluetooth and you don't see that on here but this is the interesting thing. There are essentially hidden commands that they don't show you under the available commands list. So if you know what those hidden commands are, you are able to use those to interact with the device. Now, if for example, I wanted to get more information specifically about uh, the power command, I can run SVC power with help and it will pull up additional subcommands, just like on a typical Linux system, right? Uh, so for example, if we wanted to perform a runtime shutdown and power off the device, we could do so by running FVC power shutdown. And we're doing this from inside of the phone. We are, we are shelled into the phone. So if we were to uh, exit from the phone, uh, we are now going to structure the syntax of our commands a little bit differently, but we're still getting the same end result. So now I'm going to run ADB shell followed by SBC and help, and it will pull up that help menu once again. So you have two different ways of running these commands, one from a shell in the phone, the other one straight from your terminal on your Linux machine um, by, by sending the commands via ADB shell. Between the lighting that I have in the lab right now, with the music that the slow hour offers. It just creates the perfect mood, the perfect ambiance to be able to just relax and work on your projects without distractions. Once again, check out the YouTube page for the slow hour music. Subscribe if you like what you hear. Link is in the description, QR code is on the screen. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. So back to this list of available commands we can list all of the available services on the device that, that we may potentially be able to interact with by running ADB shell uh, service list. And this will list out all of the various services. Now, one of those services is Wi-Fi. And we did not see that on the list of available commands for F and we did not see Wi-Fi on the list of available commands 
for SVC. And that's where this gets interesting. There are essentially hidden commands. So if I run ADB shell SVC Wi-Fi followed by help, we find out that we can in fact control the Wi-Fi manager using SVC. It will allow us to enable or disable, essentially turn Wi-Fi on or off. So let's see this in action. I'm gonna bring over the uh, mirrored image of my phone. Currently the Wi-Fi is off and we are going to run the command ADB shell SVC Wi-Fi enable. And you see that the Wi-Fi is now turning on on the phone. So that's pretty interesting. And that got me thinking from an attacker's perspective. Um, if we can do things like toggle on and off Wi-Fi using ADB, you know, the, you, you could have a situation, for example, where somebody unknowingly is running a USB debugging on their phone. They're connected to the internet via, you know, their SIM card provider. They've basically exposed their phone to the internet and a malicious actor, a, a bad actor could possibly get access to their phone over the internet um, using ADB. This is possible. In fact, you can use Shodan to identify devices that may allow you to do this. So it got me thinking, could somebody uh, use ADB to turn on the Wi-Fi for, for an Android device and then basically perform a scan and scan the air around the Wi-Fi device and get a list of the access points that the phone is close to. If it could, then what an easy way to basically track the device, figure out where the phone is according to the access points that are around the phone because we could then use a Wi-Fi map like Wiggle and um, we could look up these various access points. So I came up with this uh, bash script. I'm calling it Airscope. Underneath my bash scripts repository where I have a ton of different bash scripts I've done videos on in the past, here we come to airscope.sh. And this is a colorful ADB powered Wi-Fi radar that scans, sorts, and visualizes nearby networks uh, by signal strength, band, and channel right from the terminal. And I have also included this script inside of my Android Forensics repository. In the future, this could end up getting its own repo. But for now, these are two different places where you can find the same script, okay? So however you grab the script, um, go ahead and grab that. There's a couple different ways. You could just uh, right click on that and then go down to the uh, terminal and you could use wget, paste in the link, or you can just copy it raw, or you can do a git clone of the entire repository. However you choose to do so, go ahead and do that. Then you are going to want to make the script executable, so we're gonna run chmod plus x on airscope.sh. Now this is a pretty simple script. Uh, there's no help menu or anything like that. Uh, we can open it up, take a look at it, I have a brief description and I have some uh, color escape codes because I always like to add colorization and typically I like to add a little bit of ASCII art to my scripts just to make them a little bit more interesting. So one of the things that is happening when you, when you run this script is it's first going to leverage those SVC commands. It's going to toggle off the Wi-Fi regardless of whether it's on or off to begin with. It's first going to toggle it off, then it's going to toggle it back on. And when it toggles it back on, it will sleep for five seconds. So it's gonna give the phone about five seconds to scan the air. You can obviously adjust that sleep time in the script. In fact, if we open that back up, I'm gonna do a control W and I'm gonna look for sleep. So it's sleeping for two seconds after disabling it, then it sleeps for five seconds. So you can obviously adjust this from five seconds to a longer time and potentially 
by allowing it to scan the air a little bit longer, get more information back. Uh, so it's going to scan the air. It's going to do what a phone typically would do when it's searching for Wi-Fi networks. And then it's going to print all that information to the screen. So let's go ahead and uh, run the script. And you will see the Wi-Fi toggle off and then back on. There it goes off and back on. I'll get that out the way. And there we go. So now we have this list uh, printed to the screen. Let's scroll back up to the top. So on the left hand side, we have our SSDs. Uh, they are showing up in white. I'm going to have to blur these out for privacy reasons. We have our bands 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And then we have our RSSI or in other words, our signal strength. And the lower numbers are essentially a stronger signal. So this indicates one of two things that there is either just a very strong signal or it's uh, much closer to you and that's why the signal is stronger. I'm sure I'm going to get some debate on that in the comments. And then we have the BSSID over in the right hand side which is essentially the the MAC address uh, for the device or the access point. So we have a nice little list here. This goes beyond just the device itself, just, just that phone, because we are now able to use this and we're able to get information about the things going on around that device. So it is obviously very important that you make sure that you don't just leave USB debugging enabled on your phone if it's open to, to the internet, um, because as you can see, there's just a lot of information that, that somebody can get using ADB. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to showcase this script for you guys. Head over to the GitHub page, get the script, try it out, give me some feedback on that. Let me know if you are enjoying these videos that I am doing on Android. Uh, we're going to continue to explore uh, different things. I'm working on a video right now on uh, ways that you can pull secret codes from your Android device. And we're going to be doing a video here real soon on uh, leveraging bug reports and the vast amount of information that you can get from an Android device um, from, a, from a bug report. So stay tuned for more. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep learning and stay fresh. We'll see you in the next video. There's a planet I can't escape I spin around you, I can't break Every glance of gravitational sway I'm falling deeper with every day The night bends softly around your frame Every whisper calls my name I'm weightless here